Braden Darsky. Anyway, so I had some time on my hands, so I did three rosaries, something like that. Anyway, um, yeah, and I was on my way to Mass, and today I got to pick up my computer at the computer hospital, and why why is it in there, Austin? So uh, it's in there for good reasons. I know sometimes it's like I didn't. It's not because I got I was somewhere naughty that I shouldn't have been and got some viruses. I'm like, oh, I need you to fix this. No, I, I'm not into that naughty stuff anymore. And if you are, you should stop. Or if you're dating somebody who's into that naughty stuff, you should probably dump them. Anyway, or tell them to one thing's getting dumped. They're either going to dump their naughty or they're going to get dumped themselves. Anyway, so I'm at the computer hospital because my hard drive crashed. And so... Um, it does. It's not going to open. Best Buy is not going to open till eleven, and so I went to daily mass. I'm not daily mass. I went to Sunday mass, and I was early. And so let's see. I got there four minutes before they started, and I'm never there early. And like so, it was kind of interesting. A pretty gal gets up, and she's on her way to say some early mass announcement. I'm like, that girl's kind of familiar, you know? She's got traits very similar to my my friend, Ichihan. And I'm like, it's not Ichihan. No, there's no way. Like, she's tall. She's got the hair. You know, if she turns around, if she's got the voice and she's got the face, then it's Ichihan. And then she turns around and she starts talking. I'm like, it's Ichihan! And so, um, somewhere in the middle of mass, I figured out where she was sitting and I went and sat by her. But yeah, in the beginning of mass, she's uh, doing something I'm not used to because I'm, no, I'm never there early. But anyway, she gets up there and she's like, will you please join us for such and such a number and such and such a song? And yeah, so we did mass. And then I'm like, hey, what are you up to? Do you want to go grab breakfast? And she's like, sure. And so we went to IHOP. This French toast hot chocolate tastes so good. I've got a strong emotional appreciation for French toast. It's my favorite food. But when I go out in public, I can't do non-organic eggs. It'll wreck me. That's why I love this hot chocolate so much, because it actually tastes like French toast. And you still get the warm feel-goods of drinking hot chocolate. It's my buddy Ichihan. She does inspirational videos to help better oneself. Oh man, so I, I was kicking myself afterwards. I'm like, oh man, I should have done one of those, you know, hey, Ichihan, come here, and did one of those like together shots, like this is us at IHOP. And, but it's okay, because you know what? This is like my first real regular on the dailies. So anyway, and Mass, oh man, I forgot about Mass. Like, I, you know, Jesus is always good stuff, but like uh, receiving Jesus in the Eucharist today, like um, you know, it's like your relationship with Jesus is like a muscle, and it develops over time. And like today, um, you know, whenever I don't know what it's called with a priest, I think it's the consecration, consecration, yeah. When the when the priest says, "This is my body," and then he holds up the the Eucharist, and sometimes I'm like. In my mind, I'm like, hi, Jesus. And in my and today, I don't always get feedback, but like, t or maybe I do, and I'm just growing an awareness to it. But like today, it was like a, like a gentle, hi, Austin. And like, it was like, a, not like verbal, but it felt like a gust of wind that was carrying that moment. And like, I was, it was just really cool. And I just started crying in mass today. And um, yeah, just like, I had some gratitude tears today, like thanks Jesus for Mother Mary and my angel Alcotic and just coming and sustaining me in Holy Eucharist. Anyway, so then we did breakfast and then Fred Meyer was across the street, which just was awesome. And then I was on my way to the computer hospital and I got there 15 minutes early, they weren't open yet. And so I went to Craft Warehouse, which is right next to the Best Buy. This is my favorite aisle, is the Jar of Lights. And then up on the ceiling they got this platform of like trees with lights and lanterns. And 
lanterns with lights. Oh, I just love lanterns, and I love I just love this section. I love lights coming, blooming out of a tree. I love lights and plants in a tree or in a lantern. Sorry. I got a pretty impressive haul. These spinners were such a crazy awesome find. Like they were regularly originally two of them were $17 and one of them was $20. But, you know, that big spinner wave came and kind of swept the nation and now everybody's got spinners and like the demand's not as grand. And so like these crazy expensive spinners are now 2 bucks each. And I was like, "Cha, especially the $20 one. I wanted to see like why?" Would a spinner have been twenty dollars? And uh, yeah, it is definitely worth twenty dollars. I'm glad I got it for two. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Mother Mary. Thank you, Alcotic. Those expensive spinners are actually really nice. They're extra smooth and crisp. But the $20 one, it's even smoother and crisper. And it, I don't know, like I get how spinning does something soothing in the brain, but this expensive one does something soothing for you, like just your soul. It's like spinning silk. Oh, it's, or spinning ice cream. It's so soothing smooth and creamy what a delicious spinner and now i'm going to sort them into two piles one that i'd use right away and one that i'm going to use later spinners go away use these ones right now these ones go away for later these treasures are going into a storage of treasures it's kind of like buried treasure but these treasures i'm going to start using right away in my pockets i have more stuff than space. I know it's gonna look like I'm a hoarder, but I promise I'm not. It's just, I need more space. Like if you had table space and you could get organized, but when you don't get organized and you don't have enough space, then you have a pile for this, for this project, and then you have a pile for that project, but then you're running out of space to put this project C, so it goes on top of project A and project B, and then project F goes on top of project C, so. <sighs> anyway. What I have to do right now is, right now, this computer was doing very cool, good stuff, youtube -y stuff, and this computer was, and then the hard drive crashed, and then it had to go to the computer hospital. So now I have to re-clear this half of the table, and over here. So then computer number four, this is computer number four. Oh my goodness, back to high school. Oh my goodness, this was like back in the days like before internet and gaming with people in your room or living room was a thing. Whoa, whoa. We had LAN parties where you would actually grab your monitor and all your computer and all your gear and you'd actually go to somebody else's basement and you guys would just play together for a weekend. So that's what this was. 
Back in high school, this was my tower. Oh my goodness. Oh no, it's not my tower. I just remembered my tower is still in storage. Ooh, I just don't have room for it right now. This is my tower after high school. I remember now. Yeah, because one day after high school, I, my uncle, he's a super computer buff, and I was like, oh, hey, Uncle Fancy Pants. Man, it was a good fake name. So, Sebastian. Uncle Sebastian, because, like, you know, I'm okay sharing my real name, but, you know, maybe not everybody in my family's cool with being. Anyway, so Uncle Sebastian, he uh, built me that tower. And so now that's going to be computer number four. So. Man, if I had room for computer number five, I would find a place for it. But right now, so this is computer number three. This is a Mac. I actually don't know how to do regular Mac editing stuff. I do know how to do some really cool stuff, and that's why I have that. So it can do really cool stuff. So that's computer number three. In fact, those two... Uh, the internet is kind of on the fritz with, and I don't know why, don't really care. It can, I, um, yeah, I can't really do anything. Those just edit That's and play video games. That's all they do. This one is actually the primary one for, like, YouTube and Netflix and email, and this is kind of like my window into the world. So that's computer number three. And then this, i got to clear all this for computer number four, that tower. Ah. <sighs> Lots to clean. Yep, this half of the table. Yep, yep, yep. That's so sad. That's a project that I did not want to clean until it was finished, but I got knocked down on the priorities. For kicks and giggles, this is the What's Inside the Crayon project. And so anyway, that's what I'm doing right now. I got to clean one to make space for all these computers and the productivity they're gonna add to my life. Two, because I really am trying to clean up a bit. One, for image sake and relationshipness. Um, three, you know, it really does a lot for me when it actually is clean and tidy. You know, like, oh wow, it actually does something. It makes you feel better, think faster. There's something about clean. But anyway, and four, because somewhere down the line, you know, there's this really pretty YouTuber that I'm in serious crush on, and she doesn't know I exist right now, but someday when she watches these videos, I don't want like, oh man, this guy's a slob, I don't want that to be working against me, so start tidying up now. <laughs> Nothing like bringing things to light and bringing things to the world to make you realize like, oh yeah, I need to do that like today. Well, I made a lot of progress today, but it is my bedtime. So let's do a quick recap and then I'll do a quick review of what treasures I have in my pockets today and then I'm gonna go to bed. So, we almost got this computer set up. It just needs a few things like a mouse pad and an extension cord or a power strip. And then computer number two came back. It's, they uh, were able to salvage a lot of my stuff but at the state it's in, it's like a brand new computer again. So I'm gonna, it won't take me very long to reinstall my editing software and all my good stuff. And then I'll be able to crank out videos on this too. So I will have one, two, three, four computers ready to crank out videos. Very excited about that. 
And then as far as treasures go today, let's see what's in my Mary Poppins pockets. So pocket treasures, pocket treasures is going to be something like, I haven't really figured out how I'm going to film it yet, but the gist of it is, is like, what do you carry in your pocket says a lot about you. And like, I've got really cool different stuff that I either wear or carry with me in my pockets on the regular. And unfortunately, like this current video didn't really work out because I, I tried a couple ways of filming it. It just didn't work out. And because that was like three days ago, now it doesn't really feel fresh and current. So I was going to just do what I've got going on today. And like today is sweatpants. So nothing is happening in my pockets right now, but I am wearing lots of cool stuff. So today I'm wearing my zipper charms. And this one busted, so I had to wear it as like some really stretched out three finger ring thing. And I've got my one ring to rule them all. And I'm wearing my TARDIS. But yeah, the gist of it is like the stories and meanings behind everything that I'm wearing is going to take way too long. So if there's any treasure that you want to dive deep with me, it's kind of like buried treasures or sunken treasure. So if there's any treasure you want to go deep and explore deep with me, those will be in the description below. And the gist of what pocket treasures are will be also be in the description below. Deuces.